Alright everybody, so I'm going to do another sound test on another pen. Um, that's another WIBC ABC approved Brunswick Max bowling pin. Um, I've had this bowling pin for quite some time. Now, as you can see, it does have quite a bit of uh, cosmetic damage on it from you know being used uh, at the bowling alley. This pin here is a little worn, so not too bad, but it should have the same healthy sound as my uh, other Brunswick pen that you just seen. Yeah, that still sounds pretty good. Now, if I get, when I get a synthetic pen, I'll have to put something down on the concrete, like an old towel or something. Um, I would love to have a twister, some twister pens in my collection. All the pens that I have are all wooden, so. With that being said, guys, have a great rest of your day. Leave a like, a good comment down below. If you don't like the videos, just simply do not do not view them. Um, I mainly post these kind of videos for people who like to do sound tests on bowling pins and things like that. Um, also, again, as I pointed out in the other video, I did film a bowling video yesterday using a, cam a digital camera. No, it's not high def. It was a the Canon PowerShot A460. So, hey, bugger you. Anyway, I'll be doing more sound test videos in the next couple of days. So, I do have another USB-C approved. I have a USB-C approved Brunswick Max pen. Really, it's got massive belt burn. It's the only thing that's wrong with it right around this area. And a few scrapes around where the rings are at. But other than that, it's in fairly good shape. So, thanks for watching, guys.